All right, hello everyone, and welcome to our second annual uh, CSU East Bay Grad Slam uh, Research Presentation Competition. Next up is Francisco Lopez Montaña, and he's going to be talking about a river diverged into two paths, a quantitative analysis of migration to the USA. And he is learning, he is actually working at his Master's of Public Administration with uh, Dr. Brandon Phillips. Rivers have always held a central role in the flow of civilization. They were pivotal to early societies. They were sacred. But they can also be deadly. Vitema de los Sanchaceros and her two children lost their lives trying to enter the USA. Every year, thousands more lose their lives in this process. But what if we're the ones forcing them to migrate? In order to truly understand the migrant crisis, as well as its interdependence and complexity, we have to see it from different perspectives. For example, previous research shows that international trade flows determine the domestic economies of Latin American countries. Upon analyzing the long-term net trade between the USA and Latin America, the statistically significant results demonstrate that net increases in the flow of trade with Latin America cause increases in aggregate migration to the USA. Moreover, the demand for drugs in the USA is intense. However, illegal companies, also known as narco-cartels, prefer to operate across Latin America, utilizing land, agricultural resources, and violence to supply the USA drug demand. Previous research also shows that border states which legalize marijuana have a significant decrease in their violent crime rates. As a result, I conducted a linear regression to compare the amount of states legalizing marijuana in the USA to the net flow of Mexican nationals migrating here. The statistically significant results show an intense correlation between the legalization of USA production of marijuana and a net decrease in Mexican nationals migrating here. Unfortunately, previous research has failed to motivate policy changes. Nonetheless, there is a partisan cost inherent in every year without an increase in visas. Previous research shows that Border Patrol apprehensions are causally linked to increases in conservative self-identification. I extend this research until 2021 while validating previous findings. Between 1990 and 2021, the rise in Border Patrol apprehensions caused an increase in conservative self-identification, as shown by Figure 1. Therefore, the partisan benefits from policy stagnation are highly one-sided, benefiting the conservative party at the cost of the liberal one. Therein, it's also logical to say that Victima de los Sanchez Cerros lost her life because of a personal choice. When our international trade policies, our marijuana laws, and our demand for drugs are what made her leave her home. Rivers of resources thus dictate the fertility of paths in life. Or they can be used as deterrents for migration, sweeping away lives, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness in the process. The choice is ours to make. Thank you for your time.